Hey everyone, back in the shop again today. Gonna get salty, ready to go racing this weekend. Gonna have the first test and tune with the car this weekend and then have the first race the following weekend. So, gotta get the car ready. I've been driving it around on the streets a little bit. Everything seems fine, but as you guys know, or as most of you know, I have melted a piston due to not cleaning my injectors before. So I have purchased my own injector cleaning machine and I can do those now pretty much whenever. So it's the start of the season. I'm gonna go ahead and pull all the injectors out of the car. Uh, real easy, take out the little manifold bolts. Some of them are a little bit of a pain to get back on the uh, Camaro, get to the back side, but so I'm gonna go ahead and pull all the fuel rails off, drain out the fuel, go ahead and get the injectors out of the car and get those popped in the inject cleaning machine. I'll go ahead and see if they're dirty or not. Uh, last year they were okay. I have been running some of this stuff uh, over the last year and a half seems to help it's like a VP fuel additive it's a fuel stabilizer with ethanol shield uh, which seems to help keep the ethanol in good shape also I have a fuel filter that sits right here under the car and then I'm gonna go ahead and get that pulled out uh, it's a cleanable filter so I'll go ahead and pull it apart and clean it and make sure that's all clean uh, otherwise I'm gonna go ahead and swap the oil in the car so we can go out to the track and make some pulls uh, There we go. So I went ahead and just lifted the fuel rails up, unbolted those. I have numbered these prior because the little tabs fall off the Harley harness pretty easy. So I've numbered all these. So that's easy to do. As well as the injectors have their own numbers engraved into them. Like if you guys can see that, that's number eight. This will be number one. And they just have little engravings on them. Uh, so in the Camaro, I do run some really old style Bosch 160s. They work good. They're pretty much flawless. Um, as long as you keep them clean. So... I'm gonna go ahead and take them in uh, and get them cleaned in the other garage. I have the machine set up, so I'll go ahead and get those put in there. Uh, the Bosch's do have little filters that if they're clogged or dirty or whatever, you can pull them out and put new ones in. I'll probably just go ahead and put new ones in so I know they're new. And then I will go ahead and pull the fuel filter off and work on it. So here's a cool little trick I found on the internet. If you use like a number 10 screw, you screw it into the filter on these Bosch injectors. You can kind of wiggle it back and forth. I knock stuff off the table, but there it is. So uh, that's the little filter that rides inside the injectors. Kind of cool little deal. So I will go ahead and replace these. I'm not sure why this is red. Maybe it's kind or maybe that's how they die over time or whatever. But uh, either way, I'll put some new ones in after I get them all cleaned up. Here we go. Here's the machine. It does six injectors at a time. Uh, this acts as a little fuel rail. Then you have adapters to change out the different types of injectors. And then I have these little plugs that will come up here and plug into each of the injectors to control them. You have a bunch of different settings for different flows or spray tests. You can change the RPM, different things, pressures. Uh, the machine kind of has like a low pressure on it. So it's hard for it to actually like pressurize all of them at the same time. It's good for like flowing them just to check that they match. But for actually trying to see like do they flow 160 is extremely hard because it just can't produce that much fuel. Uh, I would assume you could probably go to like a bigger fuel pump stuff in the machine. But I really just use it for cleaning and verifying that they all match and everything is equal between all the cylinders. Um, I've had bad sets come in at initial. You'll get like one won't even open. The next one, the next three will be good. Then this one's halfway and then this one's okay. So you get all over the board. If they're good, they'll all match pretty much right away. So I'm going to go ahead and hook up all the injectors and run an uh, initial test. These are right out of the car. So we'll see kind of how they look uh, just right out of the car, if they were dirty or not. All right, so here we go. I'll go ahead and start the machine and we'll see what they do. Looking pretty decent, not bad. Go ahead and stop it here in a second. We'll uh, go ahead and compare them all and see how they look. So I'll go 
ahead and let it foam down uh, and then you'll see that they all it will end up equaling out we'll see how they see how they look so you can kind of see actually they look really good um i still haven't quite figured it out number three on this machine has always been a little bit higher than the rest i've done probably 10 sets and number three always shows a little bit more than the rest uh so if you kind of take number three out of the equation even if I move like this injector to this bank, it'll still show that this cylinder is a little bit more than the rest. So, uh, otherwise pretty good. As you can see, they're not, I mean, they're pretty dang good, really. I probably didn't have to clean them, but for peace of mind, I'm absolutely going to. So, uh, there is, I have two different solvent baths that are ultrasonic, so I'll run them in there. Uh, and then the machine has a setting to where it will pulse it in the ultrasonic bath and then bring them back and rerun the solvent through them within the machine and reflow test. But really, I'm not going to gain much because they all pretty much match. So that's good. That makes me happy. At least I know that uh, for two years in a row, even with the car sitting for a month or two at a time, it uh, seems to be all right. It, everything seems to match well. Even running the, uh, I think the stabilizer probably helps quite a bit with keeping the injectors well. And then I try to go out and cycle the car every week or two and make sure, run it, drive it, whatever, to make sure that fuel keeps flowing through the injectors. So just for reference, I went ahead and pulled these two out of the far corners and put the two that were sitting here back in and rerunning it. And we'll see how these end up being uh, matched up with the rest, but I'm assuming that they're gonna be pretty much even with the other ones, which is awesome, makes me happy, but still this is such a, uh, good piece of mine to just have them clean just to make sure that I know that they're good. There we go. They're all done. Number three still shows high. This one's actually looks really good. Uh, so maybe, maybe they're just a little dirty. No, not bad though. So I'm going to go ahead and run them through the cleaners and just be good to go for the rest of the year. So there we go. All cleaned up. As you guys can see, they're all very even now, except for, like I said, number three, for some reason on this machine shows a little bit higher, but all of these seem to match real well. I'll uh, put new filters in them, so I'm going to go ahead and get them put back in the car now. Here's the filter out of the car. I just ran a Summit one. Uh, you can unscrew right here, and then this will come out, and the filter will come out, and we'll take a look and see. Usually there's some little gummy stuff in the filter. So this thing was extremely difficult and tight to get off, and as you can see, there's some little goo like right here. And then you can also see it right down in there. Hopefully you guys can see that. Kind of the goo that's right, right there in the right there so there's some goo right in the threads right down here you guys can see that and it uh that's the stuff that i think gets in your injectors and starts clogging it up the oil's been changed i haven't updated the computer yet i have to do that first thing in the morning uh and then i'll just go from there i haven't put a new crank sensor in it but i'm sure it'll be all right i just want to get it changed pretty quick and then i'll actually use that one as the backup so otherwise, we're gonna load up first thing in the morning, head to the track, and we're gonna take the Camaro. Uh, the Buick's gonna go out, and we're gonna do some testing for the half mile there. And, and then also got a few other cars that I'll probably be uh, playing with the tune on and stuff like that tomorrow. First track day of the year for us, uh, pretty excited. So make sure you guys check out that next video. And if you haven't yet, please like, subscribe, and share, and we'll see you guys next time.